Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. This is going to be a quick video explaining the Illuminati and satanic symbolism that's in the new Disney Tomorrowland video trailer. Now, many of you know that the media of this world is being used as the greatest propaganda tool that has ever been seen. People all over the world are being plugged into this Hollywood mainstream media and it is shaping the culture all around us towards the system of the Antichrist. Now, I did a video earlier on the sexual perverted programming that's going on in Disney's cartoons. And if you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave a link to that video at the end of this one and also in the description below. What we see in scripture that whatever is highly esteemed among men is an abomination to God. Disney is the major media dynasty of this world. And we can see as it consumes more and more of the media around it, it truly is becoming the monopoly of children's entertainment. And what we should be discerning in this hour is what way Disney is directing people. So I will be doing videos in the future on this, but right now we're going to look at this trailer. So right from the intro, what we see is the Magic Kingdom, the synonymous Disney castle. And what you need to first know is that Disney was a high degree mason. And this castle is actually a head nod to the castle New Schwanstein. And I'm totally butchering that, but it was a Bavarian castle that was commissioned by Ludwig II and was used by secret societies and groups like the Illuminati. And just think about this, this is the magic kingdom. Scripture tells us that sorcerers are going to be outside of the kingdom of God, but Mickey is the sorcerer's apprentice. He is basically an idol to all these children who's teaching them that sorcery is good. We see that when Paul went into some of these cities and preached the gospel, people were saved by the revelation of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit opening up their eyes, that they threw away their books of witchcraft and sorcery and they burn them because magic is against God. Magic is the demonic spirits manifesting their power. So children are being indoctrinated into the occult at a very young age under the guise of innocence through Disney's cartoons. Then we look and it has the Disney logo. Now this logo is known all over the world and we can see that the mark of the beast is hidden in it with the three sixes. Now many people think that this is a stretch but if we look at the Disney stores it has the same three sixes making up Mickey's head. This was never Disney's signature. It is a made logo that has hidden satanic symbolism inside of it because the occult believe that their true messiah is the antichrist who is coming to reign over this world as is prophesied in revelation so as it goes into the trailer it opens up with george clooney sitting in front of a clock that's counting down and he says every second that goes by the future is running out and then it goes into this really quick flashing of these images now for those of you who understand how the mind and imagery works, you know that our mind only consciously picks up 30 frames per second. Anything faster than that just blurs into our subconscious. Now he said, the future is running out. And then it flashes pictures of riots, wars, flooding. It looks like some sort of plague, a fire. And right before it stops, it says looting across the East Coast. Now, I believe that this is predictive programming, preparing people for what is going to come in the future. You see, with movies like this, basically what it's doing is foreshadowing what is to come. Now you may ask, why is it doing this? Well, I believe the reason that they are doing this is because when we watch this for our entertainment, when we go to these movies and videos for fun and this is the stuff that we worship you see in the spiritual realm god sees this and he sees that his people know not his voice because the same people that watch this stuff and eat it up and swallow it up for their entertainment and their joy are the ones who are forsaking the lord their god and his word and what they are doing is turning their minds over to the persecutions, the trials, and the tribulations that we are going to see in the rise of the Antichrist. That's their entertainment. That's their joy. All right, so the purpose behind this predictive programming is to paint the picture that they want for people's minds. Now, as we look at this trailer, it goes to this girl. 
right after it shows the looting and she's watching TV but she's getting her property from I guess a police station she was locked up and as she gets it there's a pin there and she says it's not mine and they're like well it's yours now so she touches the pin and then she goes to another world another dimension and she doesn't understand what happened she gets freaked out and then when she's with her father she's trying to show him but he doesn't understand either and she touches it again and she goes to this other world again even while they're in the car and then George Clooney's voice comes over again and he says what if there was a secret place where nothing was impossible now this is what these occultists and Satanists want you to believe that they are in the shadows, they're in a secret place, but this is a good secret place. There's the music playing behind it and it's all beautiful and wondrous. And he's like, there's a place where nothing is impossible. You see, the Antichrist system is not going to rise up and be some dark, tyrannical system. It's going to come as Satan does come, as we see in scripture, as an angel of light. He's going to profess himself to be good and the whole world is going to be deceived into what he is saying. He's going to bring a type of quasi peace where he says that all wars all trials all these things are going to end he's going to be a false messiah so she's the only one that can see this other world she's one of the enlightened ones that's the whole thing that is trying to be pushed here that most people can't see this enlightenment that's going on it's the same demonic lie that's behind the new age philosophy that the whole world needs to be enlightened to this spirituality but in essence it is really satan the master of all lies leading people down the rabbit hole to the beast system so she can see it but other people can't and then she goes to search it out and she ends up coming up to a place which is George Clooney's apparent house and she shows him that she has the tab to get in and he lets her in and he tells her what she's been seeing is a hidden world where the best and the brightest of people have been trying to fix the future that is coming and you can see that he has all of these monitors that monitor all of humanity and stuff and this is just more massaging into people's brains the big brother system watching over us. The Antichrist spirit is putting itself in a good light, saying, look, yeah, we are watching over you. Look, yeah, we are doing things in secret, but really, we're the good guys. We're the ones who are doing the right thing, and the world's going to hell, but we're going to fix it. But you see, the truth is, the world is going to hell, but it's not going to be them that fixes it. Jesus Christ is going to come and set the world straight. You see, the Antichrist system believes in the mantra of order out of chaos, which means that they cause a bunch of chaos and then come in to fix it. It's the same thing that we saw with 9-11, where they caused the chaos of the towers coming down, and then the fix was to go over and invade the Middle East or the Boston bombing, where there was the chaos of the bombing in the middle of the streets, and then the order was them doing home searches on people. Order out of chaos is designed by manipulators of society so that they can keep control of the people. Because when there is chaos, people are easier to control. The rest of the trailer goes on with the people in the shadows being painted as the good guys, and everyone trying to oppress them and stop them from just doing the right thing and fixing the future. I mean, this is really sad. It's basically the same type of thing that we saw the Nazi party doing where they demonized one group of people and promoted the Nazi imperialistic military and convinced the public that they were the good guys and the Jews were the bad guys. Propaganda has always been used against peoples, and it hasn't changed. This didn't go away, it's just taken on a different face. So we need to be wise and understand what this world is promoting to us in this late hour. Now, the last thing that it says before the trailer closes is, you wanted Tomorrowland, here it comes. And that is the truth. They are telling you in plain words that the world that they have for tomorrow is coming. It will be the land of the Antichrist system. We see this same terminology used with the uh, rave festivals, Tomorrowland. Now this started out in Europe, but it's 
going all over the world now, and these are modern day Babylon practices. This is filled with sexual immorality, fornication, demon worship, neo-paganism, all sorts of things that Jesus told us would happen in the end times. Men will be lovers of self rather than lovers of God. And so now that we are seeing this going on, now that we are seeing this propaganda, what should we do? What should be our answer to it? And the answer is this. Jesus gave us the parable of those who build themselves up on the rock that they will be able to weather the storm. Those images that flashed up across the screen really quickly for a second, those are some of the trials and tribulations that we're going to be seeing in the beginning of sorrows. And we need to ask ourselves, are we prepared for that? Uh, many of us aren't, I know I'm not. So what I am doing right now is I'm founding myself on the rock, Jesus Christ the Lord, building myself up in the word of God, handling the sword of the spirit, I am deep in prayer about what I am to do, what the Lord would have me to do, and I would like to encourage you all to do the same. For if we build ourselves up on sand, we will be swept away in this storm. I love you guys. I, I pray that this video sheds some light on what they are doing and what they are planning. And it's not always going to come up as a big satanic uh, person throwing up devil horns saying I'm evil. Sometimes it comes like this. You know? children's show pretending to be an angel of light but those of us who have the wisdom of the holy spirit of god we must understand what is happening and ask ourselves is this beneficial so god bless you guys be well in the lord there it's obvious that that stuff is bad but then they'll say well but we watch disney movies and i've been to the home of preachers and christians who would never watch tv or the movies but yet they have the whole library of the Walt Disney movies. You know those white plastic cases? And they have them all lined up. And I mean, they have tons of them lined up. Of course, I don't know how many there are, but there's hundreds of them. They have them lined up and, and lined up. And they have their kids watching those movies all day long. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to prove to you right now that those movies are wicked. You say, what? Disney movies? Come on. You're crazy. They're rated G. Well, let's see.